Welcome to another episode of the Oh Hell No podcast. Today, I have Noah St. John. He is an executive coach, keynote speaker, and best-selling author. Welcome, Noah. Well, it's great to be here, Keisha. Yes, it's nice to have you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well. Hey, so how did you find your way to this career being an executive coach and keynote speaker? Well, you know, it's funny. I grew up poor in a rich neighborhood. And I know that's a total cliche, but it's totally true. I grew up in this little town called Kenny Bunkport, Maine, which just happens to be one of the wealthiest communities in New England. But my family was dirt poor. And I mean that literally because we lived at the bottom of a dirt road in a drafty, unfinished house that my parents ended up losing to foreclosure. So from a very young age, Keisha, I was painfully exposed to the gap, the chasm between the haves and the have-nots. The haves was everyone else's community. The have-nots was my family. Mm -hmm. And so... You know, you hear speakers all the time, they get on stage, they say, well, we were poor, but we were happy. We didn't know we were poor. Well, in my family, we freaking knew we were poor because my mother, bless her heart, reminded us every day that we were poor and miserable. So no, it wasn't fun. It sucked. So the point is that, you know, from a very young age, I, I hated that life of poverty and fear, and lack, not enoughness. That's what I grew up with. But I saw that right down the street, there's great wealth and abundance. So I really wanted to learn how to bridge the gap. How do you go from not enough to enough? Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I'm a, just a total nerd. I'm probably the nerdiest nerd in the industry, the personal business growth industry, because I just, I love reading books. I love studying. I love, you know, going into my, my workshop, my laboratory, you know, and just making all these, these crazy uh, solutions to things. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so I've always done that. So I just re read every book I could on personal growth, self-help. And then in 1997, I actually started my first company, which is called successclinic.com. still is, it's still online. In fact, uh, it accidentally, I started one of the first business and personal growth websites on the internet, successclinic.com in 1997. In fact, believe it or not, my company's seven months older than Google. That's how long I've been doing this. And so, you know, it, since that time, we've helped our coaching clients add over $2.7 billion in sales using my method. That means we've helped, you know, companies, executives, celebrities, athletes, uh, but teenagers, working moms, entrepreneurs. Uh, health professionals, chiropractors, you know, people from just dozens and dozens of different industries to literally add multiple six, seven, and yes, even eight figures to their business using my method. So it's, re it's really been quite a journey. Wow. So what do you think is your superpower? Well, that's uh, my superpower is really what I was saying a moment ago, being, being the nerd that I am is really being able to break things down step by step. So people can really implement them because, you know, as we all know, information is everywhere, right? You can go on YouTube and find every, anything you want, right? So the question is then, well, why isn't everyone a millionaire? Why, isn't, why doesn't everyone have six pack abs? Why isn't everyone in a happy relationship? You know, if information was enough, then of course we'd all be rich, happy, and thin, right? So clearly there's something missing. And that's really my superpower is providing that missing piece. Because inf information alone doesn't create change. If it were, we'd all be just, you know, rich, happy, and thin. So, so really, that's what I do is, uh, you know, whether it's with my one-on-one -on -one clients, with our group coaching, with our keynote speeches and private workshops, whatever it is, I really provide that missing piece, you know, that, to, to bridge the gap. Like I was saying, bridge the gap between information and transformation. And that's why our clients get such amazing, literally life-changing transformational results like you know, uh, one of our clients uh, named Sheila, she was uh, making about $5,000 a month in her business. She's a solopreneur, entrepreneur. And, you know, she hired me as her coach. And then in less than a year, she was making $75,000 a month. So from 5,000 to 75,000 a month. And, you know, we like uh, Susan, another one of our clients went from $60,000 in credit card debt to a six figure income in less than 18 months. So, I mean, just the transformations are really amazing. You can see them on our website, but it's uh it's really, really exciting to see people's lives uh, change like that when, when they use the methods, you know? Yeah. Um, so what do you think is the most common stumbling block that keeps people trapped in a vicious cycle of not getting the results that they are looking for? Yes, absolutely. You know, uh, that's actually really been the cornerstone of my career. You know, these last two decades plus is answering that very question. And, you know, um, I've written 15 books on that subject. <laughs> so, based, so you know, it really comes down to something that I call head trash. And um, uh, I've written 15 books on this. This is one of my latest books called Get Rid of Your Head Trash About Money. And in fact, all, all of your viewers, your audience members, they can get this book for free 
uh, at sendmeabooknoah.com. We can give out that site. It's sendmeabooknoah. Very easy to remember. Sendmeabooknoah.com, and I will send you a book. In fact, I've covered the cost of the book. So the book is free. We just ask people to cover the shipping, but that's sendmeabooknoah.com. But yeah, that's that's really what it is. It's what I call head trash, meaning the voice in your head that says, I can't do it because dot, 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 right? And then you just fill in the blank, right? So people, uh, you know, they come up to me all the time or, you know, they, they hire me as their coach or they come to one of my virtual events. Like we have a virtual event called the Online Business Retreat or they do my Power Habits 21 Day Challenge. I mean, you can find all that on our website, but, you know, they say to me all the time, well, no, I want to, you know, I want to double my income like your other clients do. I want to uh, publish books like you do. I want to start my online business or grow my online business, but I can't do it because dot 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 right and so that's that head trash right so i'm like well you know you need to actually do the steps so that you can actually take out the trash because think about it imagine if you have your home right and you know all of a sudden you say you know what i don't feel like taking out the trash right now i'll just leave it right and then you leave it for a week right and the trash man comes and goes and you know you don't take out the trash and then you say you know what i'll just i'll just leave it another week just let it sit there and then you know you leave it another week another week and then a month goes by two months three six months a year goes by. What's your house look like right now? Not so great, right? It looks pretty bad in there. Well, guess what? How many people do we know that are carrying around trash in their heads for years and years and decades, right? So that's the thing. We've got to constantly clean out the trash that says, for example, you know, I can't do it because I'm a woman. I can't do it because I'm divorced. I can't do it because I didn't go to college. I can't do it because I'm not smart enough. I can't do it because I don't have the right, whatever. And we can find so many excuses, can't we, of why I can't do it. But here's the thing about that. You're going to make yourself right. See, and this is one instance I always tell our clients, you really don't want to be right when you're telling yourself, I can't do it because. Yeah, absolutely. So um, looking back at your life, what happened to you to give you the confidence to chase your dreams? Like, what do you think was different for you? Well, I, uh, I <clears throat> for most of my life, I didn't have that confidence at all. In fact, at the age of 25, I decided to commit suicide because I was so depressed and, and frustrated and, and just, you know, broke. I, I didn't have any money. I didn't have any friends. Didn't have any, you know, didn't have a good relationship with my family. So I did decide to take my own life. And then it was only at the very last minute my life was spared. Um, and I didn't know why, but I decided to devote the rest of my life to serving God and serving humanity as best I could while I was still here on the earth. But at that time, I didn't know why I was here on the earth. So I had to find my life's purpose. And that's what I was very fortunate and blessed to be able to do in 1997 when I, you know, discovered the, what led to my starting successclinic.com. And so, you know, I, I really didn't have the confidence. And so what enabled me to now have the confidence later in my life, you know, for the last uh, 20 years or so, uh, is really focusing on my mission instead of myself. You know, there, there's an old thing uh, in, in speaking, right? You know, because one of the things I do is, is speaking. I do keynote speeches and private workshops and group coaching and things like that. And um, as I'm sure most people know, uh, the number one fear of adults is fear of public speaking, right? In fact, the fear of public speaking is, is usually rated as the number one fear of adults. Meanwhile, the fear of death is number five. That means, you know, if you're at a funeral, most people would rather be the person in the casket rather than the one giving the eulogy, <laughs> right? And so the point, right, you know what I mean? So the point is <clears throat> that, um, you know, you have to develop that as a skill. That's just one example of developing confidence. But what, I, what I'm getting at is that, you know, as a speaker, one of the things that I always coach my clients to do is, don't focus on yourself, focus on your audience, you know, and when you're focused on your audience and focus on the, the value that you're going to provide or, or the message that you have, well, then you just completely get out of yourself and you really don't worry about yourself. So that's just one example. That's certainly something that, that I've been doing for the last, you know, 20 years or so uh, to be able to make it not about me, but rather about my audience and about our clients. That's good. I like that. I have to use that one because sometimes I have to do um, like public speaking in my nine to five and I get so nervous, even though people will say, oh, my God, you were so good. It's like, right. you, how did you do this? And I'm like this in my head. Right. Right. <laughs> but, right. Exactly. Well, yeah, definitely use that and let me know how it goes, because it's a, I, it's a switch and you just and you focus on your audience and, and the outcome, the value to them. And and it's like you just you just sort of get out of your own way. It's pretty powerful. I love that. Yeah. 
So do you believe that people should follow the blueprint of the person that they want to be most like? Because I hear like a lot of um, people who are like speakers, who are like motivational speakers, they tend to give that advice that, oh, you should, you know, kind of look to somebody who's in the industry doing what you want to be doing and kind of copy them. Do you feel like that's good advice? Well, the gurus usually say things that aren't quite true. Uh, they, they, they say things that if there's usually a grain of truth in there, if you look hard enough. So there is a grain of truth in, in that statement, you know, model the successful person. But here is the huge problem. And what's ironic is that's actually one of the reasons a lot of people hire me is because, well, let me give you an example. I had one, uh, when I was speaking at an event in Los Angeles. This was a few years ago. And there, there were a lot of you know, entrepreneurs in there, very successful people, high level people. And I was, you know, doing my presentation. I finished speaking, walked off the stage and a man came up to me out of of the audience. And he said, Noah, I want to hire you as my coach. He said, you are the coach I've been looking for. Now, I didn't know this man from Adam. Ironically, his name was Adam. (laughs) And so I said, okay. Uh, I said, what's going on? He says, Noah, I'm totally stuck. I'm only making 4 million a year. Now, of course, I said, uh, that doesn't sound like stuck, right? Most people would go, that sounds pretty good, right? He said, well, Noah, I own a software company and our revenues uh, grew to 4 million in sales, you know, almost overnight, but we've been stuck at that same level for the last four years. So four years with no growth. And he says, I've hired every guru. I've hired all the, you know, big name, well-known coaches out there. He named all the names that we've all heard of. And he said, but I'm still stuck. I'm still just right here, plateaued. And he said, as soon as I heard you speak, about, you know, head trash and your foot on the brake and, you know, your mission. He said, I knew just something inside told me to hire you. So he literally hired me right on the spot. And I worked with him for about two years. And in that time, he said, his company went from 4 million in revenues for the, that had been stuck there for four years to over $20 million in sales in less than two years because of what I did. And so the point is, the, reason, uh, the, the point of the story is that a lot of times the gurus will say things that have that grain of truth but the grain isn't enough to to eat right it's not enough for us to feed on and so what i am being the nerd that i am i really break things down step by step that's what i did for adam that's what i did for sheila and susan and you know all of our clients in in a way that says so you know in terms of following that guru you're gonna probably not be able to do it because you know for all the things that you see from the outside there's 72 things you don't see so it's exactly like trying to follow a magician when you watch him on stage and trying to redo that magic trick. You could probably watch it for 10 years and not figure it out from the outside. You're like, how did he do that, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, if someone goes behind the scenes, right, and shows, well, here's what he did. He did, you know, here's the rabbit, here's the hat, and here's how he pulled the rabbit out of the hat, right? And so that's what I do. And that's, you know, I think that's also my superpower, if you want to say it that way. And that's, again, why our clients get such great results. Yeah, I love that because I'm always like this, those people. (laughs) And there's a a grain of truth, but we can't can't survive on grain. (laughs) I just feel like it's a little bit deeper than that. So I always want my guests to just share a little bit more. It's not, you're not just going to sign up with someone and the next day you're going to be making six, seven figures. It's going to take a little bit more than that. Well, you know, I really think it comes down to three things. It it comes down to having the right plan, Mm -hmm. the right tools, and the right support. And so what I mean by that is it's like building a house, right? If you want to have more more reach, more impact, more influence, Mm -hmm. and more income, right? And that's really what we want as as entrepreneurs, as mission-driven people who want to, you know, help and and really make a big difference, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you need a plan. Meaning it's like a blueprint, right? You wouldn't just start building a house by slapping boards together, but that's what so many millions of entrepreneurs are doing. They're, they're working really, really hard, but there's no plan. So that's one reason they're frustrated. Then also you need the right tools, right? It's like trying to build a house with two rocks and a stick. I mean, it's really hard, right? Maybe you could do it, but it's going to take you a long time, right? And then of course you need the right support. You need to have someone in your corner believing in you and someone who's also been to the top of the mountain, you know? Uh, Sir Edmund Hillary was the first person to summit Mount Everest back in the 1920s. And in that, at that time, when he was interviewed afterwards, he would say in every interview, he never would have gotten there without his guide, without his Sherpas, Tenzing Norgay. 
So I'm, I'm kind of like Tenzing Norgay. I'm the guide, I'm the Sherpa, you know, and I'm helping you, the, the entrepreneur, the, the expert, the, the influencer, really get to the top of that mountain, meaning having the impact, the influence, and the income that you really want. Yes. See, it's a whole, in, you know, like ingredients. You gotta exactly. You got it. <laughs> so your book, um, Get Rid of the Trash in Your Head, that book, right? I wanna... Get Rid of Your Head Trash About Money. There it is. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Oh, <laughs> no, that's okay. You can tell because it's got the handsome guy on the cover. Get rid of the trash in your head. No, get rid of your head trash. Um, uh, yes. What are the three um, money mistakes people make with money? The, the three yes, absolutely. And that is, in fact, that's that is the subtitle of the book: How to Avoid the Three Big Money Mistakes Even Smart People Make. Absolutely. And so, one of the big mistakes that I see people making is not getting rid of their head trash. Right? Not even realizing that it's there. You know, one of the things that I often say is that, you know, when you're trying to reach your goals, it's kind of like going down the street to the grocery store, right? You leave your house, you're in your car, and you go down to the grocery store. But, you know, millions of people are unknowingly, unwittingly driving down the road of life with one foot on the brake, right? So if you're driving down the road with one foot on the brake, how long is it going to take you to get to the grocery store? A long time, right? And you're like, boy, I'm really working hard here. Why am I not getting anywhere? And so what happens is the you know, one guru comes up to you and says, hey, you know what? You need a more expensive type of gas. That's your problem. The, you need to put a really expensive, super high octane gas in your car. Then you'll get, you know, that's your problem. You go, okay, you put some high octane gas in, but you still have your foot in the brakes. So you get the same result. Guru number two comes up to you and says, hey, you know what? You need some new tires. These, these tires aren't going to get some really expensive tires. That'll get you, you know, that's your problem. And you go, okay, so you buy his expensive tires, still doing the same thing, same result. So guru number three comes up, he says, hey, you know what? You need a new car. You should just buy a new car. This car isn't good enough. Get this really expensive sports car. Then you'll get your goals faster. That's your problem. You go, all right, you spent a lot of money getting a new car, but guess what? You still haven't gotten rid of your head trash. So what I do is I come up to you and I say, <clears throat> uh, did you know you have your foot on the brake? And you're like, no. And I say, do you know if you just do these simple steps, you can actually get your foot off the brake and reach your goals a lot faster, easier, with less stress? Really? Yeah, so just follow the steps and you just get there faster. That's really, you know, the essence of what I've been doing the last two decades and why we felt people make so much money and have really the 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 results that these transformational results in their lives and their businesses and also their relationships and they, even their health. You know, we've helped people lose a lot of weight because of course head trash is there in 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 people's for their their body, right? Their their body image, their weight loss and their health and wellness. So it really just affects everything. Yeah. Okay. So do you live every aspect of what you teach and write about? Well, I sure try to, but I mean, I don't think I succeed every day. You know, um, do you ever see that movie, A Beautiful Mind with Russell Crowe? Do you remember that movie? Ever see that movie? It's a great movie. So if you haven't seen it, it's called A Beautiful Mind. You can Google it or, you know, watch it on Netflix or something, but it's a great movie directed uh, by Ron Howard and starring Russell Crowe. And it was the story is that this was a brilliant man who saw things that weren't there. And I'm not giving anything away by saying that. So he basically, he saw things that just weren't there and that got him in a lot of trouble. So, but by the end of the movie, he'd kind of, you know, solved it or figured out how to live with it. Right. So at the very, very end of the movie, there's a scene, again, I'm not giving anything away. And he sees these people over there that aren't there. And, you know, his wife looks at him and says, is, is everything okay? Or, or, you know, what is it, honey? And he goes, nothing, nothing at all. See, so that's the analogy I always give, meaning that we're never going to become perfect, right? I still hear that voice that says, well, you're an idiot. You can't do it. You know, I don't do anything right. Boy, are you dumb? I hear it every day, but it's just over there. You know, it's like, okay, yeah. But see, the, the point I'm wanting to make for people is that, you know, before I really believed that voice, and that's why I decided to commit suicide, you see. So I was able to use my own system to, you know, overcome and get rid of my head trash. But I will say, it's still a daily thing you have to do. It's kind of like, you know, bathing or exercising and, you know, meditating, prayer. You know, these are daily things that I think we still have to do. I don't, you know, we're not going to become uh, an android from Star Trek or something. I mean, we're still human. We still hear those things. But the nice thing is we don't have to let it drive us anymore. We can be driven by our, our higher values and our, and our authentic self. Yes, thank you. And thank you for being honest about that because mm -hmm. people don't like being honest. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've noticed. <laughs> what you're saying is like true. That, that's, that's what it is, you know? Yeah.
Yeah. Well, I, I wish someone would have told me this a long time ago, Keisha, because it certainly would have saved me a lot of pain and heartache. So I do try to, you know, tell the truth about that and go, hey, we're not going to become these these androids, these robots. You know, it's not that's not going to happen. And I think that's a big thing in the self-help industry is that people do expect or, you know, the gurus, they say, well, you know, uh, I'm perfect and you should be, too. And you're like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, it's like, it's yeah, it's not going to happen. Yeah. Um, so motivating and coaching has to be exhausting, right? So how do you recharge? Hmm. Well, I don't find it exhausting at all. I find it exhilarating. I, I mean, so that, oh, no, okay. it's not exhausting. It's the opposite for me. I, I get excited when I see my clients and the light bulbs go on and they, they transform. I mean, I just, I, I mentioned a moment ago that, you know, we have a program called the online business retreat, which you can go to online business retreat.com and you can, you know, learn more about it, sign up. And we, we do it every other month. And it's, uh, it's very, very powerful. We just actually just had it this past weekend as we're at the time of this recording. Mm -hmm. And I mean, just immediate, immediate results. People literally just from what I taught in, in two days on, you know, on Zoom. <laughs> and they're already going out and using what I taught and literally changing their lives with that one nugget. And it's, it's incredibly powerful. So no, I, I don't find it exhausting at all. But that's the point, you know, for those of you watching this who, who are coaches or are in the industry, you need to build in uh, buffers and, and what I call goal-free zones, meaning you do have to recharge so that you don't become drained because that is a danger. And, and certainly a lot of people uh, in the coaching industry or the service industry are at the point of burnout or, or burning out. And that's very, very dangerous, but you don't have to. So that is also, frankly, part of the system that I teach so that you, you do give yourself permission to succeed and permission to, uh, you know, recharge. Uh, so no, I, but I don't know, I get excited helping people and making a difference and seeing the difference, as I'm sure most people do too. That's, of course, why they got into the industry, right? So you don't want to be the person that uh, is giving to others to the detriment of yourself, because right. you are the vessel and you've got to constantly refill yourself. And if, as I mentioned, you know, that is one of the things we help people with as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, so do you feel like you are doing your purpose work? <laughs> oh, definitely. Yes. I'm very, very blessed and very privileged to do it. And I know that very well. I, I'm very fortunate. Um, but it's also a lot of work. Um, you know, it's not like... Uh, rainbows and unicorns let's just say uh it's still it's still a, a lot of work um but it's it's work that's very satisfying and very fulfilling so you know before this work that i'm privileged to do now the, the executive coaching the teaching the speaking the mentoring that i get to do with wonderful you know great people like you is um you know i worked at a lot of what i call survival jobs you know and that was work you know that was when i was working and i felt drained every day you know i felt exhausted and unhappy and frustrated and again that's why one of the reasons that led to my my suicide attempt back when i was 25 years old so um you know every day believe me I, as hard as it is i go this really isn't that hard compared to what i had to do and what a lot of people are doing today you know uh like single moms and and working two or three jobs and of course our our amazing frontline workers who are just sacrificing so much. And of course, our, our servicemen and women around the globe. So I, I definitely count my blessings every day. And, and I, of course, want to help people, you know, our clients, our students, our, 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 the people who work with me and hire me as their coach, their mentor, their guide. You know, my, my mission, my role is to help them be able to express their authentic self and I mean, let's face it and get paid for it because you do have to get paid too. Uh, you know, just because you feel good, it does not necessarily pay the bills. So you got to, you got to do both. You have to have that balance. And, and frankly, a lot, a lot of service providers feel guilty charging money for what they do because they're like, oh, you know, I don't know if I should, I'm like, well, like, that's what I, going back to what I said a moment ago, you got to take care of yourself first, you right. know, so it's not wrong to make a great income doing what you love. In fact, it's really, really right. So that right there is something that I help a lot of people with as well. So I have one question for you because I asked another person that I interviewed this question and I want to see what your answer is. Yeah. So helping people who are starting businesses, like for instance, uh, the lady who had the business and um, she was only making like 5,000 a month, which is pretty good, you know, 
But a lot of times when people have businesses and they're not doing the right thing, they're usually struggling and they're not making a lot of money. And I know that coaches and like these types of programs are very expensive. Mm -hmm. So how do you um, break down your packages? Do you ever consider that, okay, these are new people people who are just getting into business and they might not have the um, money to pay for a service like mine. So we're going to break, make this package a little bit cheaper, or this is for the um, intermediate people. Like, how do you do that? Yeah, it's really very easy. So we have three levels of service. We have do it yourself, done with you and done for you. Okay. So every, at every step in business, whether you're just starting out, whether you've been in business for a while or whether you've been doing this for a long time, the trade-off that we always have is time versus money, right? So when you're starting out in business, it tends to be true that you have more time than money, right? You have lots of time, but not much money, right? But as you grow, right, then it starts to go like this. Your time actually starts to go down because you're getting busier and busier, which is great. And your money's going up, which is great. But then you sort of reach your point you're like, oh my gosh, I don't have any time. Okay, money, I got money, but oh no, now I don't really have any time. See, so when someone's starting out with, you know, they've got time, but, but really, you know, maybe not so much money, that's when you want to do the do it yourself. So we have lots of do it yourself programs. Like we have Power Habits Academy. We have Six Figure Business Machine. We have Get Unstuck Now, Affirmation System. These are all at our website, shopnoahstjohn.com. Just go to shopnoahstjohn.com. Also very easy to remember. And, um, you know, you can look at all of our, our whole program suite. So that's the do it yourself level. So we definitely have that. And you can listen, just go and do it at your own pace. And we still give you everything, but you don't get really the interaction with me. So that's at the do it done with you level, right? The, the done with you level. That's when the person says, you know what? I want to get faster results in less time. Mm -hmm. So yes, that's a greater investment of money. But guess what? You're going to make it up because we're going to give you literally, you, I, uh, I'll give you a great example. One of our clients, Stacy, uh, is a health professional. She hired me because she wanted to you know, uh, grow her uh, practice, her health practice. And I showed her how to get her business online. She'd never done anything like that or didn't even conceive of having it. She literally, you know, there's videos on our website, you can watch these, but she literally said, I never even thought of doing it. So I showed her things she had never even conceived of. And so her dream was to take her family on a trip to the Grand Canyon. She thought it would take for her dream vacation five to seven years to get there. We got her there in 18 months. So what is years of your life worth to you, right? When you compress time, literally you're compressing time when you work with someone who's been there, again, the guide, the mentor. So that's the done with you level. And then of course, we have the done for you. That's where you're just like, listen, Noah, I, I really don't have the time, but I just need to get this done. Here you go, get it done. And that's where we have the done for you level. All right, so that's clearly for someone who's been probably in business for a while, has the money to invest, and just wants it done. So when you look at the do it yourself, the done with you and the done for you, really we can help people at every level. I love that Noah, that is fantastic. Yeah. So on the Oh Hell No podcast, I always ask my guests to share an Oh Hell No moment that has changed um, their perspective on something or taught them something in life. Oh Hell No moments are shocking moments that you know might change the trajectory of your life somehow, some way. Or they might just be a moment where you're like, damn, I can't believe that just happened, you know? But um, share a moment that's significant to you um, that you can think of. Yeah, well, years and years ago, uh, I, was in a, I was in a very abusive relationship. Uh, the, the woman that I was with was, was very mentally abusive to me. Um, one time physically abusive, but I mean, basically it was just emotional abuse, um, uh, mental abuse, and... And I stayed in that relationship for four and a half years, which to me is looking back, I go, what? <laughs> I mean, it, it oh, just- Oh, hell no. <laughs> I go, oh, hell. No, I go, oh, hell. That's what I, but I did get to finally that point, thank goodness. And I did finally say, oh, hell no. I, I, I mean, I'm, I can't take this anymore. And I finally did leave her, which I'm very thrilled about. And so the reason I share that story, and I don't share that story very often, but since you asked, uh, I do share that story for people who, you know, may be in a similar situation, men and women, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, of course, we hear a lot about it <clears throat> the other way. Mm -hmm. um, and that does happen, you know, the other way, too. So I, I do want people to realize 
And, and I wish I had someone there telling me this back then because I sure didn't. I, I really felt all alone. I felt uh, like I didn't have any choice. Like, you know, she was controlling me. And, but I let that happen, see? So, but I didn't have, I didn't understand my power. I didn't understand really any of the things that I, that I teach today. And that's another reason that I'm very passionate about that. So that was really the oh hell no moment for, oh hell no moment for me. And thank God I did it because that really has led to now uh, where I have a, a wonderful relationship with my wife and, and we've been together now for, this will be celebrating our 10th wedding anniversary in a couple of months here. And it's just been wonderful. In fact, we're moving into a new house right now. So it's very exciting. It's been very rewarding. So, you know, that it was very, very hard, very difficult, very painful. I was very scared, very, very scared. And so for any of you watching this who may be going through something similar, just know that there is hope, there's help, uh, you know, there's support out there, just just get it, ask for it. You know, again, I, I didn't do any of that and I, I regret it. So I definitely would encourage all of you to make sure to get the help, get the support you need. Well, thank you so much for sharing that, Noah. Um, I really appreciate it because like you said, you never know who's in that situation and need to hear that, hey, you can get help and get out of it. So I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming on the show. Please tell us where we can find your book. I know you said it a couple of times before, but tell us again. Where Absolutely. We can so the book is Get Rid of Your Head Trash About Money, Go to sendmeabooknoah.com, sendmeabooknoah.com, very easy to remember. And our, our also our main website, shopnoahstjohn.com, like you want to go shopping, shopnoahstjohn.com. And also, oh, the online business retreat, very simple, onlinebusinessretreat.com. Uh, those are the three main ones that I think uh, will be great resources for uh, everyone watching today. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Great.